The 2013 Georgia legislative session is well underway. Though we're only just past the quarter mark, I wanted to provide you with an update about recently passed bills and special events at the Gold Dome. Members of the Senate were sworn in and we took swift action on the first day of the session. The Senate passed an amendment to Senate rules to cap gifts from lobbyists at $100 per gift. This shows our commitment to keeping our constituents' interests first. The Senate also passed SB 24, known as the Hospital Medicaid Financing Act. During the first week of the session, this bill was necessary to prevent hospitals from facing up to a 32% reduction in Medicaid reimbursements. Reductions of this magnitude would have meant a loss of service and jobs. I'm proud to have voted to pass this Senate bill in order to keep our hospitals open and our citizens working. On January 30th, I welcomed Georgia Tech students to the Capitol. I'm a yellow jacket myself, and this is an event I look forward to each year. It is vital to encourage young people in pursuit of higher education. In addition to welcoming Georgia Tech, I also had the pleasure of welcoming Reverend Dr. Melvin Ivey to the Senate Chamber as Chaplain of the Day. Reverend Ivey is a fine, upstanding member of our community, and I'm proud to count him as one of my constituents and a friend. As we go forward in the legislative session, we know that our work has only just begun. We will continue to fight to build a strong economy and ensure every Georgian who wants to pursue a higher education is able to do so. We're committed to making sure our elected officials are following the highest of ethics and that our government is working for everyone. I'm confident that the steps we take this year will mean lasting prosperity for future generations. Please feel free to contact my office at any time if there are issues on your mind. Thank you. God bless you and God bless the great state of Georgia.